Welcome back to the show. We're here with Damon Hacker from Vestige Digital Investigations. Welcome, Damon. Thank you, Christine. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate the opportunity. You're welcome. So do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and the company? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, as you said, my name is Damon Hacker. I couldn't have picked a better name for myself for what we do. Um, Vestige Digital Investigations, um, we are electronic evidence experts. We focus on two very complementary services. We focus on digital forensics mm -hmm. and cybersecurity. And uh, they work kind of hand in hand with that. Traditionally, I guess I would say that we get parachuted in when companies and organizations have something that goes wrong. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll investigate it, find out what's on digital devices, okay. and, uh, and go from there. And um, So on the cybersecurity side of things, we've got both reactive and proactive services. Mm -hmm. um, so we help people secure their data um, and investigate it when things go wrong. Okay, so. nice. What's your favorite part of doing what you do? Oh gosh, you know, I think that uh, it's that there's never a dull day. Um, this is a highly dynamic industry. It's changing all the time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, really, it, our guys spend 24-7 yeah, really understanding, you know, the different artifacts and things that get left behind, how to secure the data and that. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I mean, there are days when I look up and I think, oh my gosh, I've got, you know, it, it, and it's four o'clock and I can't believe it's already four o'clock because it's just, it just flies by mm -hmm. uh, from there. So I think that's really the, you know, kind of cool thing about it. Um, certainly helping out um, our clients and organizations, you know, figuring out what's on these devices is, is always very um, satisfying mm -hmm. you know, as well. So it sounds yeah. like you have a, a passion for this. How long have you been doing it? Uh, you know, we've been doing it since, well, I've been in the industry since about 2000. Mm -hmm. um, Vestige itself started in 2004. We were formed, uh, it was a combination of forensically trained IT professionals and forensically trained trial attorneys. Mm -hmm. So we really kind of understood both the legal and the technical aspects of it. Um, we were at a time when it was really in its infancy. Um, mm -hmm. At that point in time, uh, you know, nobody really knew what the growth of the industry was going to look like, right. um, how much data was going to be, you know, out there, and, mm -hmm. and how to secure it. And that, I mean, that was really kind of a an afterthought, really. Mm -hmm. in that. So it's been it's been kind of a, a long time, but it's it's yeah, fun. It seems like an industry that's always changing and always has new threats. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we we try to stay ahead of you know the bad guys, and mm -hmm. that's you know that's the challenge on it because. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, it's just like uh, in other things, they have to be right one time, we have to be right all the time. Right, right. So, right. Yeah. Um, so what do you feel your competitive edge is over other companies? Yeah, so, you know, quite simply, I think, um, you know, it goes right to our tagline. Uh, we turn digital evidence into intelligence. Um, I think it's our investigative mindset mm -hmm. that really um, helps focus us both on the investigative side but also on the cybersecurity side because we find things that others just don't find. Um, so that's it. The rest of our competitive advantages really probably come down to our business practices. Um, for example, I mean, we know responsiveness is really, really important mm -hmm. to our clients. Um, it's why 98.8% of our 10,000 or so phone calls that we get a year are answered by a live person. Mm -hmm. We know That's that important. speed of delivery is really crucial. Um, we're involved in a lot of litigation um, for our clients and that, and so mm -hmm. being able to turn things around and, you know, our normal turnaround time is under two weeks. We mm -hmm. can have the ability to do emergency um, uh, investigations at within 72 hours. Mm -hmm. So that's important uh, from there. I think we're really, really deep knowledge in terms of what we do. And as a result of that, um, we get a lot of referral business. 70% mm -hmm. um, of our work actually comes from other clients that are, have experienced our, you know, experience, mm -hmm. our, our uh, expertise in the past and are related with the services. Um, so they do that. And then we've got a fairly um, strong testimony uh, history. Mm -hmm. So we get involved in that and have to testify on it and we've been repeatedly told that what we're really good at is being able to take the complex environment, you know, the technical mm -hmm. stuff and translate that into something that the layperson can understand mm -hmm. uh, from there. Nice. So. so you spoke a little bit about referrals from other customers. What would be the perfect customer to refer to you? Uh, well, all the customers are perfect, right? <laughs> you, know, so. um, you know, I think the customers that do that, that are, are the best customers for us are, are certainly somebody who needs an investigation or, or is proactive in terms of securing their data. Mm -hmm. um, so they've got that need, but that they understand that the proactive approach to it 
is important. Mm -hmm. um, we find that those clients that come to us early on in the process, we have the ability to create and craft a better solution, um, maybe even a more cost-effective solution because we're not having to react to things that somebody has, uh, decisions that have been made that may be costly mistakes mm -hmm. uh, from there. So our, our clients tend to be cutting edge clients that understand the proactive nature, come to us early, and um, are willing to invest a little bit more um, for a quality service mm -hmm. on that. And we back that up. I mean, it's kind of nice. I mean, one of the things we offer, uh, and we make it easy for people to choose because we have a mm -hmm. getting it right guarantee. And that's really important because, you know, in litigation, in these investigations, those kind of things, people don't want to get into the 11th hour mm -hmm. and discover that everything they relied upon wasn't accurate or somebody mm -hmm. made a wrong you know, interpretation or something along that mm -hmm. lines uh, from there. And that's really, you know, that becomes really important, especially on the, on the digital forensic side, because what we're really good at, you know, when we look at these devices, and, and when I say devices, that's any kind of device. I mean, it's, you know, the, the traditional laptops, desktops, mm -hmm. servers, that kind of stuff, but it's also tablets and cell phones, mobile mm -hmm. devices, that kind of stuff. And we even get involved in non-traditional data, uh, uh, digital devices. So a digital surveillance system or a photocopier mm -hmm. or something along that lines. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about that is everybody always thinks or you know immediately about the fact that these devices are repositories for content. But really they are, but they're also kind of repositories for what we call artifacts or the digital evidence that gets left behind. Mm -hmm. And that's the stuff that we're really good at understanding and being mm -hmm. able to uh, interpret and analyze Great. that. So, Great. Fun stuff. Sounds like we could talk about this for hours. No, I could. And hours. I could, certainly. <laughs> but we are running out of time. So thank you, Damon, for being with us. Okay.